All right, this is your test fixture. Main power is right over here. Uh, 48 volts E off is here. Make sure it's twisted up um, to get power. Let me start it up. Make sure it's down. Turn power on. See the lights go on. We're going to allow power to the uh, FETs. So now it has uh, 48 volts. This right here is our can breakout. There's two um, jumpers. One, now one jumper is on. Whenever you put on a jumper, it adds a, uh, a 120 ohm uh, terminating resistor. So right now it just says one 120 ohm. It's hooked up via can to the Hubo I. I'll turn on the Hubo I. You can see here uh, we're showing one device hooked up, which is in fact true. Uh, so we're going to enter that device. Um, you'll see where it says LX right here. That is the limit switch. So as we press on the limit switch, it goes off and on. Right here is the limit switch. Now I'll show you that the motors spin. Right here are the motors. Uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to do FET ON. So FET ON. FET ON right up there. And we're going to do servo ON. Alright, so now that is our servo ON is right there. So now we can use our left and right to uh, tell it to go places. So let's see right here. Focus. And then what we'll do is we'll go switch uh, to which motor we're working on. And motor zero. Enter. All right. So for this one, the FETs are already on. So we're gonna turn the servo on. You see that likewise the limit switch on that one works. Now we're going to move it left and right. like before. So that is the test rig setup. <clears throat> when you're done, turn off the 48 volt first. The controller is still on, uh, but the FETs are not getting any power. Then you can turn off the whole thing.